Hello and welcome to your lesson on augmented and diminished intervals. So today we're going to do a little bit of a more advanced lesson considering that we're adding two more types of intervals. So first, we should all know about the perfect, major, and minor intervals. And if you haven't, you should probably go back to one of my classmates' lessons on that and you'll le learn about those then. So if you're actually here to stay, then get ready because we've got a whole bunch to cover. So first we should probably review the last lesson. This is the time to recall again the major, minor, and perfect intervals. Remember that seconds, thirds, sixths, and sevenths are not perfect while unisons, fourths, fifths, and octaves are. Remember that non-perfect intervals can be either major or minor where perfect intervals can only stay perfect. Now, but what if we have something that's higher than a major, lower than a minor, or higher and lower than a perfect? This is where your augmented and diminished intervals come in. So let's start with the third. Using the F on the scale, we count up three spaces to find that A is the second part of the interval. Remember that for all cases, we need to make sure that we use the key signature when we're checking if it's a major or minor. And well, since it's key of F, there's only one flat. B flat, and it doesn't affect the A at all, so we have what's called a major third. Now let's say we add a sharp. This semitone up is unusual considering that there's only usually major, minor, and perfects, and for our example, only major and minor. But now this is where the augmented interval comes in. Major in uh, intervals, as explained in the major versus minor lessons, is larger of the two and more common in the early years of choir. Since it is the larger of the two, it's uh, there's often times when you need to have a name for a larger interval. So the F to the A sharp would be called an augmented third, and that's written with an, either an uppercase A or the shortened form of augmented AUG. So let's go back to the major third on the F, and this time let's add a flat instead of a sharp. Now what we have is a minor third written with a lowercase m and a 3. But wait, we can still go down one more semitone. So if we add another flat to make the A a double A flat, then we get a diminished third. Now remember, diminished thirds are written nearly the same kind of structure as augmented, so a lowercase d or the shortened form of diminished, dim. We have one more group to talk about before we can carry on to practice our augmented and diminished intervals. So, we talked about major and minor intervals and how they can go up to augmented and down to diminished. But what about perfects? Eh? Well, actually those ones are really easy considering that we only have one spot to begin with. So those go up to an augmented and down to a diminished quite easily. So, let's use the letter C as an example. Now, we want to find the perfect fourth of C, so we have to make sure that we keep in mind the scale. So a C, you don't see any flats or sharps, so you don't have to worry about that. Walk up the scale and find that you find the letter F. Now how about we add a sharp to that? What do you think that would make it? That's right, that would make it an augmented fourth. Now if we do the same thing down, we push the F down to an F flat, then what do you think we'll end up with? Yeah, again, we'll get end up with a diminished fourth. Simple enough, eh? So now you have the tools to find your augmented and diminished intervals. I found a site for you guys to go to so you can go and practice these intervals plus perfect major and minor. Practice your heart's content. All right, so now that we're finished, I hope you guys learned a lot, and if you didn't, you can always rewatch the video or come and ask me. Good luck, happy singing.